So back when I used to live with my grandparents, most of the things that were in my room were actually theirs. So like the furniture that they bought, their cabinets, their wardrobes, the mattress that I slept on, right? It was all theirs. Sometimes I would feel like I had no control over my life and literally no control over my environment. I knew I had to take things into my own hands and create a safe space for myself, starting with just moving out their things and slowly curating a space that made me feel like me. It was the first time my room felt like my own room. And though I don't live with them anymore, I'm on my own now, but I'm still trying to implement what I've learned then into my current space. This is where I film, edit, write songs, and everything in between. And since it's still the beginning of a new year, I wanted to give this room a little refresh. They say that an environment either sets you up for failure or success. So I want to make sure that this office space works for me this year. So this is the current state of my uh, work area. Not bad, it's not really messy at all. But what I want to do is like, I mean, look at that. I want to decorate that. I want to like figure out what to do here and redecorate these shelves. Now this wall right here in front of this love seat is also very, very empty. And as for this little desk set up here, this is where I spend the most time. So the main priority is to get this set up as comfortable as I can get it. Maybe I'll add like a pop of color here and there on like the cork board and maybe pin some more photos here. I want to get like a foot rest for my feet because my feet don't naturally rest on the floor. I don't have any specific plan on what I want to do like step by step. I do have ideas for what I want to do so I think we're just gonna roll along with it and just go with the flow. First thing I think I'll tackle is my first ever little gallery wall. I'm using command strips to hang up my pictures because these are just so reliable and I can easily remove them off of my wall without any damage. Y'all would believe I spent maybe two months just looking on Etsy for designs and I was so indecisive on which ones to buy, like did I want abstract art, neutral colors, or something colorful and cute? I finally settled with the colorful theme and chose pictures of things that I loved. Immediately, I loved the way that this little corner made me feel. Hello, so it is the next day because yesterday I got a little bit distracted and and I didn't finish decorating, but that's okay. Today, what we're gonna be focusing on is organizing a lot of this room, but I wanted to get started on this Ikea Calyx. Right here, I have these bins that I usually store like candles and plant care and just like random knickknacks, but I wanna start using one of them as a charging station because I already have um, a surge protector in this one, which I use to plug in like my lamp, my Google Home, but I wanna also just like plug in like my batteries, my security camera batteries, drone batteries like stuff like that and just hide it away from plain sight so that it looks clean and there's like a designated place for it so I'm gonna get started on this and show you guys I started off by unplugging everything I'm adding a multi USB charging cube so I can plug in whatever thing I need to charge and in today's case it's my security camera batteries I also bought these little containers from Target to section things out Right now I'm setting up a system for my camera batteries. The big issue is that I use them so often, but I always forget to charge them and forget which ones are charged or low. So using the mini containers, I'm labeling them uncharged and charged so I can separate my batteries. All my uncharged batteries will be put in one place and once they're charged, I can move them to the charged container. That way I can easily grab them from there and they'll be ready to use. I'm just placing them into the big bin now along with the other chargers. Now I can plug them in and get them charged for when this camera battery that I'm recording with dies. Yay. The next thing I'm tackling is this Ikea Alex drawer which holds the mess of my life. As you can see, I just throw everything into the drawers and call it a day. And although it's out of sight and put away, it's still a mess. An important step to tidying, according to Marie Kondo, is to take everything out of their containers and drawers and then lay them out. The reason why we do this is so that we can easily see the things that we own. I don't know about you, but I own like 15 of the same type of cable and keep every single one for the just in case and I never end up using them. Next step is to discard the things that we don't need, like this cute little reusable boba straw. What in the world is it doing with my wires? Anyways, I'm also organizing things into categories. I have a ton of wires, adapters, and stuff, so I'm putting the same type of things together and then labeling them. Finally, I can put everything back where it belongs and I have a better system for organizing. So the next thing we will be tackling are these lifeless 
shelves. They're giving us nothing, giving us boring, giving us uninspiring. I want to add a lot more plants because I used to have like a lot of these shelves, but then they all died off during the fall and winter when not enough light was coming in. And so I want to be more intentional with which plants I bring in and which will actually thrive. Having a little lunch break here with my, uh, my gimbap. In order for me to redecorate, I have to take everything off, give it a good dusting, and then see it all from a new perspective. For me, it's kind of hard to visualize a different layout when things are already put there, so it's helpful to start from scratch. I have a few items I'm gonna leave as is on my shelf, and as for the rest of the space, I went to Marshall's to hunt for some new pieces and decor. I also made sure to visit the nursery to pick up some plants that would actually do really well on the side of the room. On most days, this desk is cluttered AF. I usually have food, papers, cups, a ton of misplaced things sitting all over here. I don't remember the last time I really deep cleaned this area. I actually don't think I ever did, oops. So I guess it's time to take everything off the dust and disinfect everything. Now I can place it back where they belong. Here I'm reorganizing this drawer. I'm keeping all of my most used items right here. So a decor piece that I really wanted to add to my room, specifically the uh, love seat over in the corner over there, are throw pillows. And I couldn't find anything that I really liked on Target or Marshalls. And they're also 15 to 30 bucks for some pillows that weren't really my style. And so what I'm doing is I'm making these flower throw pillows. I already drew out an outline stencil thingy magic, and I picked up these colorful fabrics that I think would really be cute in my room. I got this like dark coral, I got this pale yellow, and I also got this green color. I don't think it'll be hard to do, but it's also been a while since I've done any sew project, so we'll see. 3.28 a.m. Y'all, okay, look what I have. <gasps> Yes! It's not perfect, it's rough, and I still need to fill it with stuffing. Like, I still left like a little opening here so that I can um, stuff the pillow, but I'm happy with how it came out. I was struggling earlier on how to make this, so pat on the back. I'm gonna go continue sewing and finish off the rest of it. Got the polyfill. Oh, there we go. Probably gonna put in a lot of polyfill so that it can hold its shape better. Oh, there's a stuffing tool. What's this? Bruh. It's a freaking chopstick. <laughs> Look how it says includes a free stuffing tool. Wow, that means my house has a, a ton of these. Look, I think it looks really cute. I'm gonna sew this part down and then add more filling to the middle and then stitch this part up and then we'll be done. I wanted to wait until the day after to show you guys because I think they would just look so much better in daylight. And so for the moment of truth, I cleaned up and then freshened up the love seat corner and here are the pillows. I am so happy with how they look. The colors add just so much more interest to this plain seat right here. I'm so happy I went out of the way to make my own pillows. And look at what came in the mail, y'all. I got a super comfy footrest for my feet to finally rest on, thank God. Then giving the rest of this room a thorough vacuuming and dusting. I haven't touched my cable management in a while, so I tightened up the look of that as well. And with the final touches done, here is the final look. mini room refresh. I hope it inspires you guys to go out there and redecorate, clean up, declutter, you know, make your environment suitable for you. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!